hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing you guys how to make this juicy delicious baked chicken quarters this dish is definitely going to be a top contender in your weekly recipe planning before i begin if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe like the video of course if you enjoy it and Leave me a comment below if you're going to try this one. And without further ado, let's jump right in to the recipe. All right guys, before I begin, I want to let you guys know the measurement for this recipe will be in the description box below if you need it. I'm using about five pound of chicken, nice and clean. Y'all know how I do, I gotta clean it with some lime and vinegar. And this right here is Sazon by the name, by the brand name Goya. It will add nice flavor to this recipe. Also I'm using dry parsley as well as some Paprika, I'm using regular paprika for this one, not smoked, okay? And also, I am going to be using some rosemary to add a nice flavor, as well as thyme, okay? Those are like unique flavors you can't find anywhere else. I'm using some salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, of course, and I have some adobo seasoning, and you will also need some oil and butter, okay? So first thing I'm going to be doing is mixing up my dry seasoning together. So I added the paprika, the onion powder, now I'm adding the garlic powder. Now I am going to be adding my adobo seasoning as well as the dry parsley. And now I'm adding the dry thyme with the rosemary. Once you're done adding all of your seasonings together, give that a nice mix together, and then we're going to start seasoning our chicken. All right guys, this is the chicken we're working with. It is nice and clean with vinegar, and I pat it dry as well. So, what I am going to be doing is prick some holes under the skin, okay? Prick some holes, just like that. I'm using a knife, you can use a fork if you want, just be careful, okay? That's one of the things that I always do when I'm baking chicken. Every single bite will be flavorful. So that's what I am going to be doing. Y'all can see that. Okay, just prick some holes. Just don't hurt your fingers. <laughs> Once you're done, you're going to drizzle some olive oil. This right here is olive oil mixed with butter. You can use olive oil alone or you can use melted butter by itself. It doesn't really matter as long as you're using some type of oil so the seasoning can stick to the chicken. So once you're done adding your olive oil on there, make sure you rub it, you know, make some love to the chicken. Um, once you're done, you're going to take all that dry seasoning and just pour it all over your chicken, all over. I mean under the skin too, because that's where you want the flavor to get in. So every single bite of this chicken can be delicious and flavorful. These are the steps if you guys follow, your chicken will come out all the time, every time, tasting delicious, okay? This right here, you cannot get it at a restaurant. 
this made with love and it tastes so good you will thank me later try this out if it come out good definitely come back and let me know in this video that you made it you like it you enjoyed it and if you have made some of my recipes before my baked chicken before let me know down below how you like it even if it's not this one of course but If you're new to my channel you have not subscribed yet please take the moment to subscribe my channel is designed to provide you with a free weekly menu on what to cook for your family so please consider to subscribe today I promise you you will not regret it Now, once you're done seasoning your chicken, you're going to take a saran wrap and just cover it, place it in the fridge for about two to three hours. If you have time, you can do this overnight. Um, I didn't really have time, so I'm going to cover it and let it sit in the fridge for about two to three hours or 30 minutes if you're running um, late. Once you're done, you're going to bake this on 350 for about 45 minutes okay 45 minutes on 350 and once it is done guys you have yourself the most beautiful the smell in your kitchen right now is to die for yo look at that chicken it is beautiful the color and look at all that beautiful juice your chicken produced this is what's going to be used as a gravy to eat your chicken there it is y'all it's so good so what i am going to be doing right now is basically take all that gravy and just pour it all over the chicken oh it looks good it tastes good as well all you have to do is just give this a try so you can see for yourself <laughs> so i'm going to base it with all that gravy oh yes I love it here. <laughs> I love it. It's just so good. Basically guys, this is the recipe. How to make juicy baked chicken at home. Look how juicy, come closer, come closer so you can see how juicy this chicken is. When I'm telling you it's juicy, just know it's juicy. And I did not cover it for those who might ask. But thank you for watching guys. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up for me. If you enjoy it, I deserve a thumbs up. So definitely hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys as usual on the next recipe. Bye.